Hey Holly, so here's your video review. I started you from a stop position right here because I just wanted to point out this. Okay, you see that position right there? Now, what would happen if all you did was sat up, all right? When your knees at the vertical to the water, that is your catch position. So at that point, your blade should have been in the water already, right? So if you think about this logically, all you have to do is sit up straight and your blades would go down, right? So that starts at the finish. In fact, it starts through the whole stroke, what am I saying? Um, so let me just clear that out and just go through this. See, over here you've got a little habit of putting your head down. So what I want you to do is focus on keeping your eyes on the horizon and that'll automatically start bringing your posture up better. Okay. And a little bit of rowing through the shoulders as opposed to hanging on the handles. So let me show you this. Okay. See how when you're in that position, if your shoulders are bent like that, your blades have to be in the air. So you automatically have to use your shoulders to get your blades in. I hope that makes sense, right? So now once you've done that, you start already the back starts opening it starts going already right which leads to another issue which is you're losing your catch position so your blades are going in too deep all right i'm just going to pull back here so I'll show you okay so just watch that entry it should be spoon and maybe about two or three inches but that's going right down, which means your hands are going up. Look, what I enjoy about this is you've got a lovely hang. I have to point this out. This is awesome. Those hands, oh, sorry, that line wasn't straight. Your hands are straight out. Okay, which is great. That starts from the finish. Okay, and I love the way you do that. So here we go. Going through the stroke. Okay, so right there is nice straight arms and everything. So what we have to do on the sequencing on the recovery from the finish, get the hands away, but don't allow that body to move. Okay. So here's your body position. Now, watch this. Hands must go away. The body mustn't move. Can you see you coming off that line? Before the hands are straight. The body mustn't come off that line. Right. See how much you've moved already? So that's hands and I've got to work on that to not let those knees pop. Okay. So body angle there. Finish. Nice. Should be sitting up a little bit taller. Handles go. Knees do not pop. You can see, watch the knees pop. All right, so all of those factors make make you put weight against the run of your boat. Okay, so that's what we're trying to avoid, if anything. We want to lift that barbell during the recovery and allow the boat to really run. Okay, so all you have to do at the catch then is hang on to those handles, drive with the legs, then open the back and arms, at the, you know, and close the arms at the same time. That'll create the acceleration that we're looking through, looking for in a stroke. I hope that makes sense. Okay.